steel. Molten steel running down the channel rails. Now you've all seen the what we're calling ground zero many, many times. We've seen it from a variety of angles. It is rubble and it is dust. Um, and that, of course, raises the question of health and structures in danger. Raises the question. Like you're in a foundry. Like lava. The steel was coming out red in certain areas from the first couple of weeks at least. This is how it's been since day one. Oh, it's unbelievable. And this is six weeks later, almost six weeks later. And as we get closer to the center of this, it gets hotter and hotter. But, you know, these underground fires were just uh, like the fires of hell. The fires got very intense down there and actually melted beams where it was molten steel that was being dug up. Underground, it was still so hot that molten metal dripped down the sides of the wall from Building 6. This is fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat into one single element. There were fires of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit below the ground. But, and almost like a chunk of lava from Kilauea or Iceland, where they're very sharp, but, but breakable shards on the end here. Eight weeks later, we still got fires burning. It was molten steel that was being dug out. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel, One Truth for Life, right here on YouTube. For updates and additional content, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash one truth for life and on Twitter at One Truth for Life.